morning. So there is no age limit when it comes to style and this YouTuber is proving it. Watch. I've worked at the Marine Base for 28 years. I did 18 years of volunteer service at Phoebe. My husband and I had a travel trailer for 28 years. I was in all the states except two. I've been to Hawaii three times. To Alaska. Meet 91 year old Betty McDonald who lives in Georgia. So Miss Betty misses getting dressed up and going places. So her neighbor and caretaker Kim Taylor helped her create these backyard fashion shows. The fashion shows are a tribute to Miss Betty's late husband who died in 2007 after serving 20 years in the Air Force. I met my husband in 1949. We met at a USO dance at Tyndall Air Force Base. We danced, we dated, and four months later, we married. So as you can see, these backyard fashion videos are complete with Miss Betty telling her story. By the way, the couple was together 58 years. You can actually find Miss Betty on YouTube at at a, a good neighbor. So cute. She's got a ton of these fashion shows she's doing. Now, Mother's Day may be in the rearview mirror, but that doesn't mean we should stop celebrating moms, especially those doing it on their own. Single Moms Strong is a nonprofit organization that supports and empowers single mothers and their kids. The organization came up with the idea to host a Mother's Day drive through celebration. This is in Sacramento. Moms could pop by for a few surprises. They drove through. They had booths in the office parking lot. Moms got a mystery bag of goodies, bouquet of flowers, some catered meals, all while social distancing in their cars. So here's a shout out to all the single moms out there, especially during this time. And if you need some support, you can check out singlemomstrong.org. Do you miss traveling so much that you would eat airplane food? Even when you're not on an airplane, who are you sickos? Well, apparently people are doing just that. So obviously with less people traveling, some airlines have a surplus of those snack packs and nothing to do with them. So here comes online surplus stock grocery store, Imperfect Foods to the rescue. They took those airplane meals and are delivering them to people's homes. The snack packs include mixed cheeses, crackers, and dry cherries from JetBlue Airways. No word if those mini bottles of alcohol are included. That's what I would want to know. <laughs> you know, when you, first, when you first hear about it, you're like, who wants airplane food? Yeah. But then when you hear how much they have of it because people aren't traveling and they don't yeah. want it to go to waste, it makes sense. Yeah. That's true. All right, thanks, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Still to come, as the local red tide heads into the third week, we have a look into how it's affecting our shores. Plus, well, a Washington sheriff's deputy is bringing smiles to the faces of Special Olympic athletes during quarantine. Watch this. I'm here with Lucas. Lucas! <laughs> and Lucas plays basketball. Basketball. I play on. And softball. And softball, track and field. Track and field and bas basketball. Basketball and golf. So Christy Brigman from Seattle, Washington has been a deputy with the Kings County Sheriff's Office for 22 years. She was inspired by a Canadian law enforcement colleague. Brigman decided that she would encourage Special Olympic athletes to keep being active during the pandemic with her 10 a day till it's okay challenge. So for the past month, the deputy has visited one athlete a day to do fun workouts and has shared the videos of their exercises to social media. So props to her. Some celebs are getting cheesy to help raise money for restaurant relief. Nacho Average Showdown. That's right, Bill Murray and his son Homer versus Hunter Fieri and myself in a nacho competition. I know, it's crazy. Well, we. There you go, Guy Fieri and Bill Murray and their uh, kids getting ready to square off at a virtual nacho making competition this Friday on Food Network's Facebook page. Nacho Average Showdown, as it's called, is being organized by Tostitos with the aim of raising money for the Restaurant Employee Relief Fund, which was created by Fieri and the National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation to help raise money for people out of work that normally work, you know, for restaurants, operators, and their employees. And it is the latest baking trend, froggy style. Watch this. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so carb fans across social media have been having fun trying to shape their dough into a frog and then letting it bake. So the point is you have to keep the frog shape the entire process. However, in the videos that I saw posted on TikTok, apparently that's uh, much harder than oh, it look looks. Wow. <laughs> so the froggy bread is adorable, but does it taste good? I've yet to see a video kind of saying how, if it's good or bad, but it's adorable. I, I'll give you that.
It's gonna. It's gotta taste better than frog legs. That's all right. I gotta say. <laughs> I've never I'll had. I'll take frog the froggy bread any day of the week. It's cute. It's a cute project to do with your kids too yeah, at yeah, home. So that's, that's cool. an idea.